Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about countable infinity versus uncountable infinity. And as you know, there are different sizes of infinity. And of course, in this video, we're going to talk about cardinals, not the ordinal. So cardinal, we're talking about signs or how many things in a set of things. And ordinals is just ordering, so first, second, third, fourth. So we are going to focus on cardinals, which is, uh, I think, most people um, going to interest in more. So first of all, let me ask you a question. So how many uh, total number of levels in the fast coin hierarchy between F1n to F omega n? So how many levels are there? My second question is, how many levels are there in the entire fast going hierarchy. So that's my two question. You can think about that, pause the video, try to answer it yourself. So anyway, um, first of all, the countable infinity, some people call that listable infinity because you can kind of list them out one by one. And the second type is uncountable infinity. Some people call that unlistable infinity because you cannot list them out one by one. So basically, um, and of course in this video, we're going to assume the continuum hypothesis is true because otherwise, I mean, this, I believe it cannot be proven or disproven in the standard axiom of the ZFC. But anyway, we're going to assume it is true. So um, listable infinity or countable infinity is represented by Arnoff no here or Arnoff zero. And the unlistable infinity will be represented by Arnoff 1 over here. So Arnoff 0 is the one example would be the set of all natural numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blah, 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 all the way to infinity. And Arnoff no is basically, you know, the smallest size of infinity and the most basic form of infinity when, you know, when people are talking about infinity, something infinite in size, something like that. Most likely they're talking about out of no, especially for non-math people, math, um, you know, even like physics people or regular people. And then another example would be all the integers, um, negative or positive, and then the set of all even numbers still is out of no, and all the odd numbers, and all the prime numbers, all the rational numbers, all the constructible numbers, all the algebraic numbers, all the computable numbers, and the set of no, all non-normal numbers. And lastly, and did you get it? So the number of levels in the fast going hierarchy between F1n and F omega n is, of course, out of no. So this is basically, of course, the same as the set of all natural numbers because the same thing, you just basically go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to omega, which is, you know, the smallest transfinite ordinal. And um, so the reason is that, you know, they actually, believe it or not, they are the same size. They all belong to out of no. So they all are the same size, same infinity. The reason is that there's a bijection, which means they are one-to-one -one correspondence, which means you can pair each of them up one-to-one -one or, mat, you know, or pair them up one to one. Let's say one example would be the all the natural numbers and all the even numbers, they actually pair up one to one. Exactly. So one to two, two to four, three to six, four to eight, da 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 da. You can go all the way to infinity, even though it looks like the set of all natural numbers is twice the size of all even numbers, but in fact they are the same size. It's not twice the size because you can pair each of them up one to one forever. So it doesn't matter, they are all the same size. So they all belong to out of no. And the second kind of infinity, which is the uncountable infinity is out of one. So what are some of the examples of out of one? So out of one is actually bigger than out of no. You can kind of say is infinitely bigger. So examples would be the set of all irrational numbers and then the set of all transcendental numbers, the set of all uncomputable numbers, all the normal numbers, all the complex numbers, and also the, all the real numbers. Um, you, the real numbers, you can kind of imagine it as the number, total number of points on the number line, which is two-dimensional, right? A line is two-dimension. And also all the countable ordinals, 
and also of course did you get it also which is the total number of levels in the fast way hierarchy is actually out of one because here is out of snow but of course after omega you can keep going omega plus one omega plus two omega plus three da, 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 and then omega times omega well actually omega plus omega and then omega plus omega plus one something like that you can keep going on forever eventually of course omega times omega or even omega to the omega omega to the omega to the omega you know each omega is an infinity by itself right and you can even create new or you can use new ordinals bigger ordinals so let's say epsilon naught and then epsilon naught plus one doing the same thing again and again there's no limit to that so clearly <laughs> This, I mean, the number of levels in the entire fast square hierarchy is definitely another kind of infinity. I mean, it's not out of no anymore. It's infinitely <laughs> bigger than out of no. So at least I believe it is in the out of one for the size. And some people um, try to ask whether there is, or, I mean, some of what are they, some of the examples of out of two. So out of two, again, is kind of like, you know, kind of like alpha out of one and out of no, you know, out of two is infinitely bigger than out of one. Some people suggest that, you know, it can be the set of all ordinals whose size is out of one, something like that. However, of course, out of two is not even the biggest of the cardinal numbers. You can keep going forever. It's, let's say out of three, out of four, five, blah, 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 all the way even to out of omega. I believe you can even keep going after that. So, but basically, it's not very clear what the sum of the example, again, is kind of like the continuum hypothesis is hard to prove or disprove what belongs to this group over here besides, you know, some generic, you know, um, examples over here. And, uh, well, again, one reason why out of one is much bigger than out of no is that, for example, and why is it unlistable? is because, you know, imagine in a number line, actually any, I mean, between two points in the number line, there's an infinite number of numbers or an infinite number of, you can call that decimal numbers between any two points on the number line. Therefore, it is the total number of points or total number of real numbers is of course, infinitely bigger than just the integers. Because for example, how many numbers is between one and two? There's an infinite number of decimal numbers. And even between 1.1 and 1.2, there's infinitely many decimal numbers. That is why you can never list it. It's unlistable. And it's, you know, uncountable infinity, infinitely bigger than out of no. So here we have it. Um, some, I mean, another video about infinity. And of course, we can talk about cardinal. We're not talking about ordinals. And a lot of people, you know, they wonder how big is infinity. Infinity is way, way, way bigger than you think. Uh, in Google, in Googleology, we don't usually talk about infinity because, you know, Googleology is the study of big numbers. Um, infinity is not a number. It's not even, a, I mean, it's not even a number. It's just a concept that something goes on forever without end. But even that we know some infinity is bigger than others. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.